Hey guys, this is Red Silvers, and welcome back to Let's Play The Guardian Legend. Today we're going to head into Corridor 8. And I've said before that uh, a lot of the times the hardest parts of the corridors are the boss fights. But Corridor 8, they are going to mix it up a little bit. And we're going to get some tricky maneuvering just to get to the boss. And you'll see why when we get to that point. So, like always, it's going to be really important that we head into the corridor as close to topped off as we can. And that'll take care of that nicely. Alrighty. To unlock this corridor, you need to have no sub-weapon equipped, or the no-use weapon. And then you just push the button. It's a lot like when you talk to the lander to get your password. And that will cause the lock to open. Now right from the start, we're going to get a taste of why this corridor is so tough. Because right there we have the, the green enemies. And it seems like they're really well positioned this time around. So they are always blocking a bunch of enemies at once. But, if you're overwhelmed, you can use the enemy eraser, and I may do that. I know I keep mentioning the enemy erasers. But it does help clear the screen. And that's really the gimmick of, of this corridor, is just, let's throw these shield enemies in with everything else. So they can sit and tank all the hits of everything. And they will tank your sub-weapons. So, um, you can afford to take a few hits trying to get to these guys. That's one nice thing about having all these upgrades. But of course, if you get too overwhelmed, it's going to be a little ridiculous. We're in pretty good shape here. Which is good, because it's boss time. And our boss is a red Grim Grim. So if you're wondering how it could get worse than the Grim Grim we fought before, this is how. Aside from having more health and I believe doing more damage, he also has two colors of eyeballs that he fires, and one of the colors homes on you. So... That's the main gimmick, and luckily this trick that you used against the blue one will still work. So the repeller, the laser gun, uh, using your uh, laser weapon to deal with the bullet hell in the final phase. Let's go ahead and switch the laser for a bit. I don't know if you actually hit multiple points in this boss. Like, I know that you hit him and his eyeballs die, but I don't know if he's got one health meter or if each of his eyes has a health meter, but I assume that he just has one health meter. But it is the outer eyes that shoot the eyeball, so as you may notice that the eyeball quantity that he's firing at me goes down a little bit. He's actually not going to fire the eyeballs now until I get him to his pissed off mode. He'll still fire his little bullets. And that's kind of a problem because right now I need to farm something. And the little bullets aren't going to give me any pickups. So that's a little scary. It's like, I want to get him through the into his aggro stage, but at the same time, I don't want to do that. So. Okay, let's get some enemy racers going really quick, because we need to get something going for us real quick. Am I going to get that pick up? If I can get one more heart, I'm good. Just to play defensively. 
and you know what, I'm gonna just go for it. We'll, we've got some health now, we're not right on the edge. Yeah, this this clutter, this this slowdown, this screen clutter, it's something else. You really have to concentrate. When even the game's struggling to keep up. Okay, we're in pretty good shape now. Yeah, we used a lot of enemy racers, but we're really close to the max, so it's okay to do that. I just I did not like having being an inch away from death at the beginning of this phase. But all for is good. So we're going to get the triangle key, and that's going to give us access to area 9. They kind of cut back on the optional forking a bit at this point. And we get our uh, multi-bullet here. That's going to put that to level 3. So you can see everything we have is at level 3 right now except for the Seekers. Uh, the enemy racer will never power up. I'm not even sure what this is like. Oh, this is the bullet shield. I apologize. I got my names mixed up. And I'm not really even sh This one's not really as useful. I think it has the same kind of power, firepower as this repeller. The difference is you fire the repeller and it stays on the screen and doesn't take any chips. Whereas, you use this, and it just gradually counts down, so you just use up all your chips using it. So, we got one area to go to now. Let's go ahead and head up to area 9. And I think that Grim Grin's really the worst of it. There's a couple of obnoxious bosses coming up, but they have really easy to cheese methods. So that Grim Grin, kind of the worst of it. And if you're wondering how close we are to the end of the game, we've got about five more videos coming. I believe we'll wrap this up. Maybe six. We'll go ahead and head in here with our triangle key, and here's our lander. So we'll go ahead and get our password. And we are good to go. Next time we'll get to be heading into a new area, we get some new tiles, some new music, and a ton of new enemies. So. Until then, this has been Red Silvers. Have yourself a good night.